Hello everyone, we're here at KubeCon Barcelona with Dustin Kirkland. Dustin is product manager of GKE. Dustin is going to be telling us about Windows. Windows and Google, why? Yeah, it's something that we've heard quite a bit from customers lately. Uh, you know, those of us around the, the Linux ecosystem have long been putting our workloads, our applications into Linux containers and using Kubernetes to orchestrate those containers. Uh, until recently, that's really not been available to for Windows workloads and you know half of the world's workloads are, are still developed on Windows and for, for Windows. Uh, so with the release of Windows Server 2019, uh, the Windows Server kernel has built into it functionality that operates very much like Linux containers. Uh, and so in the, in the upstream Kubernetes community, Microsoft, Google, and a number of other companies uh, have been instrumental in adding support for Windows Server containers to uh, Kubernetes. And as of Kubernetes 1.14, the upstream open source release of Kubernetes uh, has declared Windows container support generally available. Very cool. So what kind of features are going to be available in this release? Yeah, so you should really think about uh, you know your basic applications. Uh, we're focused on uh, largely first-party apps, the apps that either you have the source code to and you develop yourself uh, on top of Windows, uh, or apps that are being developed, new .NET uh, apps, new Visual Basic or C++ we, we see a lot of uh, in Windows. Uh, so new apps that can be, uh, can be compiled and built into uh, a container image we can deploy now directly to GKE uh, as a Windows application on a Windows node. Uh, and then, you know, importantly, we, we get this question a lot, but yes, you can have Windows nodes and Linux nodes in the same cluster. Those pods can communicate, you can have applications, uh, a .NET application running in a Windows server container uh, that's talking to a MySQL service running in a, a Linux container. That's very cool. So you're going to have Windows and Linux coexisting in a single GKE cluster. When can customers get their hands on this? Yeah, so as of GKE 1.14, the rapid release channel will have the functionality built into it. Uh, we're making that available in an early access program, uh, and we're onboarding our first customers now. Uh, we have a sign-up link that we can send you to to sign up for that early access. Uh, we'll run it through its paces, first an early access, then an alpha, then a beta, and then a, then a GA. That's super exciting. Well, we're looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Dustin. Thanks.